This is Dojo Endgame Sparring position number 13. And usually this is for more advanced players around 17, 18, 1900. Okay. And I just want to say a couple words about the dynamics in this position. This is Botvinnik Alekhine, a very famous game from 1938. Botvinnik won this game. But for the sparring, there's a couple very important things to see about the position that will help you a lot if you understand them. It will help you for other kinds of positions. So I think the best way to think about this position is a dance of three pieces, right? Each side has a king, a knight, and a rook. And the job is to think about the quality of those pieces. Now, Black's last move was f6. Makes sense. He needs to dominate the knight to prevent the knight from coming in. So one of the first things that White has to understand is, oh, my knight needs to get fixed. Then we can also say, oh, the king needs to get fixed. Okay, so White really has two poor pieces. Now, even though White has two poor pieces, you could argue that White is winning. And the reason for that is that this rook is crushing all three of Black's pieces. It's preventing the king from coming out. Uh, it's much more active than this rook, preventing it from, for example, from going to c8. And simply prohibiting this knight's movement away from its dungeon, right? So a couple things to say. First, this is a classic example of a rook on the seventh rank and its power, right? That's one of the reasons we have it as a training position. Uh, doing the training should enable you to say, oh, if I get a rook there, you know, I'm in a really good shape. The next thing, though, to really understand is a lot of players here will fudge about even RIMs. You know, when I gave them this position, they wanted to fudge with the rook and stuff. And winning a pawn or something with a rook ain't it. What it's about is you have to fix your bad pieces. And that's then the challenge for white. Black can give good resistance in this position. Okay.